Emerald is a family. I dare to tell you that Emerald is becoming a movement. One of the important things that made Emerald Toastmasters what it is today is the solid foundation on which it was built. Uh, the first president, Sonia Alana, has done very, very, very well. She laid a solid foundation where she focused on the quality of our speeches and the quality of the venue and the quality of everything. So having her as the founding father of the club is really a great place and, and that's what we are seeing here. Well, I'm happy that I was there at the very beginning because I started the club. I was the charter president of, Twist, of Emerald Toastmasters Club. So it started, it's my baby. It's, it started in my hands and it's what I trust. And I'm glad that the legacies that I left behind have been upheld by subsequent presidents. And I like that throughout the years, so eight years and we're still standing. Eight years and we're still counting. Eight years and we still have a long way to go. But I thank God that the foundations that were laid that the subsequent president built upon it and we have the beauty of the club that we're seeing today. Sonaya, who took over from her, also played a very important role on what we see today. Now, talking about myself, when I became the president, we identified some strategic goals and the strategy on which to implement the goals. We set agenda for ourselves where we should improve the quality of our club meeting, the quality of our speech. We also became very deliberate and intentional, ensuring that every member of the club has a mentor and is working very closely with mentor. We take time to mentor all our members and we take time to be part of their lives. I was mentored by Toastmaster Sonia, who was president before me. So it was just really easy for me to continue on that path. So Emerald Toastmasters Club was an outstanding club in the division and like a force to reckon with because of how they did things in a very professional way. So it endeared a lot of members to our club and it was easy for us to form a new club. I think within a period of about two years or almost two years. And I don't think there's any club in the division that has produced more clubs. Because Emerald gave birth to Topaz Toastmaster. Topaz gave birth to Abuja City Toastmaster. And now we have the real Christmas club. It means we are giving our members more opportunity to practice speaking, more opportunities to practice reading, and more opportunity for them to network. So I believe over the years, Emerald has done tremendously well in that direction by producing ladies and uh, empowering its members to become better speakers and better leaders. Emerald Toastmasters as a club has achieved great feats and milestones. Achieving her goals has been consistent. It hasn't gone below her. It is either 10 over 10 or nothing. If it was back in the time before the COVID pandemic, Emerald was always known for getting her plaque because her members would renew her dues in good time. And the momentum for every, that is expected of Toastmasters Club is sustained in Emerald Toastmasters as a club. Emerald Toastmasters also participates in competitions in the division and she is well known. She just doesn't attend for attending sake. Her presence is felt and it has always been like that right from time. That's to tell you that we have tenacity, we, are, we have consistency, we are consistent club. Uh, we are deliberate and intentional people in this club and we take seriously the learnings of leadership and communication that Toastmasters is, is offering to, to the world. If you look at the leaders, incredible leaders that this club has uh, 
for this over the years, starting from the distinguished those Master Sonia Hayata and up to first Master Hadima, you will find incredible and remarkable leaders that have made their mark not only in education but in the country. Now to our members, I would say our predecessors have laid the foundation and we are not to relent in building on those foundations. We are not to leave it the way we met it, but to take it a notch higher. During Toastmaster Al-Hassan's tenure, Emerald was able to birth a new club, which is Burial Toastmasters Club. Now, a high tax is ahead of us as members and as leaders to keep on taking the notch higher. The solid foundation that has been built should be maintained and improved upon. We shouldn't rest on our hearts, but strive to improve upon these laudable achievements that have been set by our ancestors so that we will maintain our flagship position as one of the best clubs in the country and the district at large.